Hey yo, welcome to another hashtag cast radio. This is your boy Rick, aka Zero. Yo, we're gonna be talking to a good friend of mine today, Mr. Raven Ravenwolf from Ravenwolf Studios, an amazing artist, graphic designer, a friend of mine from a long time. We're gonna be doing the comic geek chic nerd episode. So sit back, relax, tune in, kick your shoes off. Here we go. So we are recording. Wait, yeah, we are Excellent. recording. Why is it very cool? Very light now, huh? but I'm recording. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, cool. So here we are once again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am talking to Mr. Graven Ravenwolf of uh, of Ravenwolf uh, Productions. Um, and the production, yeah, <laughs> studios, art of you name it, we yeah. wear a bunch of names. Yes, exactly. Um, me and Graven, uh, we've known each other for a while. I mean, how, how long has it been? How, I can't, what, when uh, uh, we well, met? man, I've known you, I want to say we've known each other for about seven years now, two, almost eight. Jeez, that's crazy. Doesn't wow. seem that way, does it? No, I never really thought about it, so it's just like the time just kind of flew. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot. That's a lot of, wow, yeah, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. It's a lot of talks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me and Graven, we met through a, a mutual friend. Um, and, uh, yeah, man, we uh, definitely uh, kindred spirits in a lot of ways. Um, and uh, Graven is is a, an amazing graphic designer slash artist slash um, renaissance man. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll let him tell you a little bit more about, um, the, uh, uh, Ravenwood, uh, you know, studios, media productions, uh, as well as, um, one of the newest projects that he's dealing with right now, um, Drawsome, which you can find on facebook.com. Is it facebook.com slash Drawsome? Uh, it's uh, facebook.com forward slash art of draw some. Uh, apparently someone else also thought of that cool title, but uh, <laughs> it uh, breaks down to Dr. Awesome for them. Uh, and it's uh, draw some for me, but it's, uh, again, facebook.com forward slash art of draw some. D-R-A-W-E-S-O-M-E. Wait, hold on one second. Hold on one second, Raven. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, had some uh, technical difficulties there. I had to fix that. Everything's good now. We're back in action. Okay, so one of the things that I had uh, an epiphany about is it, it's, it's so obvious that Disney has bought Lucasfilms and is behind Star Wars because I literally see Star Wars everything. Like, I turn on the television commercials, like there's Star Wars lipstick from, you know, uh, I, f- I forgot what company it was, uh, a Star Wars lipstick commercial, there's a Star Wars Campbell Soup commercial with Star Wars on Campbell Soup, there's like, they're, they're marketing, it like, there was literally like the Jared commercial with the jewelry, they had a Star Wars Jared commercial <laughs> with Star Wars bracelets you can get. Um, there's Star Wars, yeah. the Fiat commercial with the little smart cars. There's Star Wars Fiat commercials. Like, holy shit! Like, it's like it's just to me, it's gotten to a point where I feel like there's they they're whoring it out so much. Like, it's so it's so loosely open, gapping, like hot dog down a a, a, a hollow tunnel of whoring at this point. It's it's just too much. Yeah, no, I would agree with you. I, mean, I think I saw, I don't know if it's Photoshop, because you know we live in the world of Photoshop, but uh, uh, I saw some apparently Dark Vader bagged, uh, bagged apples uh, and BB-8 bagged oranges with, uh, uh, if you buy at the grocery store. I was like, really? Like, I mean, I don't know, themed uh, barbecue tongs, Star Wars barbecue, barbecue tongs, yeah, you know, yeah. everything you turn around, there's something with Star Wars on it right now. I couldn't agree more. It's definitely there. I mean, I, I, honestly, if you have that type of backing, yeah, you're going to push it everywhere you can, but it is a little bit overkill, I would agree. I mean, these guys have reinvented the the, the marketing of a movie. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a movie marketed, like, even even uh, that, that one annoying movie, um, 
what was that Disney movie? Uh, the Let It, the Let it, Frozen. 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 Even Frozen. Like yeah. I thought that was marketed to the point of nausea, but even Frozen can't even come close to the marketing they've done no. for Star Wars. Doesn't like compare. I mean, no. Funny enough that uh, Star Wars is was the first groundbreaking movie that it's been labeled years ago as far as the genre trend setting thing that it did. And then now all of a sudden the marketing in turn is doing the same thing. Yeah, and like, am I being ridiculous from from somebody who I feel like is on the same level as me when it comes to these things? Am I being ridiculous to, to, to feel like I, I feel like they're taking something that I would I would say is sacred and holy? You know what I'm saying? The Star Wars, the thing that is Star Wars, and they're taking it that it was once a mystic a mystical sacred thing. You know, and now they're just kinda throwing it and it's fucking everywhere, Star Wars underwear and Star Wars condoms. And it's just it's there's nothing mysterious about it anymore. There's nothing sacred about it anymore you know, i mean even the marketing like you know, the original star wars man people went above and beyond just to get anything labeled star wars and those guys that collected those things today you go to their houses and you see these things that they that they collected they went above and beyond just to get these collectibles because they there weren't a whole lot of them around like you really had to be a lover of this stuff but now it's like yeah. i mean 30 40 years from now the people that are collecting the Star Wars stuff from this day and age, it's going to, I mean, come on. You'd be able to fill a house with the Star Wars memorabilia from this new movie. So am I being ridiculous, do you, or, or do you feel like it is the same situation, like they're, they're whoring it out? No, like no, I agree. I don't think you're being ridiculous with it. I think that what they're doing is, um, I think it's very spot on in some ways. What they're doing, I think there's two sides of this. I think mean, one side is that they've taken and worked worried in some regards whether or not they were going to be a hit or miss with this new movie. Mm-hmm. I think from a marketing standpoint, from a business standpoint, you're taking, you're revitalizing something that people thought would never really happen again. Yeah. Number one, people had already, already believed that that would never happen. Yeah. Seven, eight, and nine would never happen, much alone seven. Um, and such a fervor backlash on the first, the newer ones that were one, two, and three be, would become one, two, and three, the prequels that they call. Yeah. Um, and I think from a marketing standpoint, it's like, okay, well, if we're not going to make, we, we're making this movie, what if by some weird reason it does not do well financially in the theaters? Where are we going to gain our money back from putting so much into it? Well, we need to throw as much marketing into it as we possibly can, start the hype train, as quickly as possible and try to recoup immediately as much as we can from the making of this movie Mm. from making this movie that if for some reason the movie does not capitalize appropriately in the theaters with the general public then we've at least made some of our money back from what we took to create that that's one side of thought now whether or not that's true or not I don't know Mm. but I would say that's probably one side that they might have been looking at when they did the whole marketing regime so to speak Um, but in the same aspect too we live in a society now where every where it's market consumer off of falsities mm-hmm. of necessity. Okay. So everyone upon everyone is now part of the fad. They're part of the joke. They're part of that inside game yeah. where now it's all about being collectors are cool. Being a collector is cool now. That's something people do. Yeah. Uh, and they don't understand the reality of what a collector can be and what it was for many, many years. So now, like you said, yeah, you're going to have houses that are going to be filled with this stuff um, and they don't realize they're not making money by collecting this stuff. It's going to be worthless. Yeah. There's not going to be there's not going to be any money to it whatsoever. Uh, they're going to be burning it like it's just some regular thing. You know, they don't. You'll be giving it away like the Beanie Babies fad. You mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, is the mysticism lost a little bit? Yeah. Am I impressed with the the secrecy that they've had with this movie? Yeah. I, I'm impressed with the level of secrecy they've had in oh, yeah. oh yeah. But for the most part, I, I think you've taken the core value of what Star Wars has been. And trying to monopolize off of that alone. We're gonna get back together again. We're gonna have another yeah. uh, get together because we got a lot to talk about. I think I think uh, our our conversations will definitely end up revolving a lot around comics and, and comic TV and, and comic movies. There's a lot to talk about. But um, 
Um, yeah, true. So we'll definitely we'll definitely come back together and do another one because uh, there's definitely yeah, more I want to talk about. But I want to thank you for sitting with me, man, and talking. I mean, it's always a pleasure, man. We we like I said, we we get together and we talk, and the time goes and it just disappears. Uh, I appreciate you taking time out to sit with me and, and and join me on this little project that I'm doing. Plug your stuff um, and your websites or whatever yeah. so people can check you out. Certainly. Well, everyone can see my work as well as my wife's work on the art of ravenwolf.com. Uh, that's, of course, art of raven, R A V E N, wolf, W O L F.com. But if you want to find just my work alone, you can go to um, www.facebook.com forward slash art of drawsome, D R A W S O M E. And you'll find some of my, my rantings and ravings in the art world on a piece of paper. So. Thank you, sir. Sir Graven of no, Raven Wolf. It's a pleasure, man. Um, we will yes. talk again very soon. So thank you very much yep. for listening through the whole way through. And we will come back together. And uh, we will do some more with Graven. So tune in again to hashtag Cast Radio. Uh, my name is Rick, and we will leave you on that note. Thank you very much, everybody. Peace out. Yeah.